The Wisconsin Badgers pull off a 74-70 victory here at the Kohl Center. This one was an important one. Wisconsin, in my opinion, this was a must-win game for them. I mean, they're coming into this one 1-5 one in their last six. Four of those were on the road. You have a huge opportunity here at home to pull off a victory, and they did that. It was an intriguing game, you know, one where they were up but really couldn't put it away, but still managed to pull it out in the end. But nonetheless, a victory is a victory over a tough Big Ten team who possesses one of the best defenses in the conference. Let's break this one down. Early on, you get off to a good start, like they have in previous games. You go 9-2, and two, or you, you go on a 9-2 run to begin the game. You let Maryland then come in, but then at the end of the court, or end of the half, Wisconsin's able to pull off a 35-27 halftime lead, you know, overcome some of those early turnovers, which were crucial, especially in that post trap that Maryland was looking to utilize early on. Second half, you get off, to, you know, you, you're maintaining the lead, but Wisconsin had opportunities, it felt, to kind of pull away. It felt like they were passive, as I wrote my three takeaways, in that they were letting the shot clock kind of wind down, not taking necessarily the most high-quality shots. Ends up, you know, keeping Maryland somewhat in the game, but good defensive effort overall outside of Jameer Young, you know, and Julian Reese, their two top scorers, you're able to effectively limit everybody else. And that kind of led to Maryland not being just able to score enough points in this one to ultimately win. Uh, Wisconsin holds Maryland to just 41% from the field. Um, and while they shot 45, only 27 from three, it was good enough because they had 31 free throw attempts and hit 28 of them. I mean, that's, that's a pretty impressive mark for them. Tyler Wall was an impressive 18 points, 6-7 from the free throw line, 6-9 from the field. Just really efficient and just really crafty around the rim, finding different ways to score, even when it seems like he was shut down in the paint. Elsewhere, Max Klesman had 16, a ton of free throws there at the end. Just important, but also had the clutch three to put the Badgers up. And I think that one was, uh, you know, a, a big turning point in the game. Kind of, not necessarily the dagger, but the one that kind of kept Wisconsin up for good. Overall, though, Wisconsin, like I said, much needed win. They got the job done. And now you get a week break. You kind of get to solve all the little issues out before the final stretch of Big Ten play. You got the tournament coming up in about a month. But this one was important. Wisconsin now jumps up in the conference. I believe they're third in the rankings now. We'll see what they can end up doing overall over the next week, um, you know, in rest. And we'll see how they respond when they come back next week. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the coverage. We got you handled.